Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, April 7th, and I actually made it here just in time to say good morning to you because it's almost noon. But uh, today we are at the Brandon Trailhead again. And uh, last time I was here, we went that away to Indian God Rock, but this time we're gonna go the other direction. Um, I have been out since the last time I shared anything with you, but I told myself a long time ago I wasn't to, uh, gonna do any recording unless it was an overnighter, but I got some new technology I'm trying out here, so we're gonna head this direction and see how things go. Well, it ain't winter time anymore, and you might know as soon as I pull out the camera and start recording, somebody comes up from the riverbank and looks at me like I have two heads because I'm talking to myself. All right, I'm in a little less populated area now, so I'll try to record more, tell you what's going on. So anyhow, I've had this app on my phone for a, quite a while called Far Out. It used to be known as Gut Hooks. Um, and you can buy different maps and so forth for uh, different trails. A lot of guys use it for the uh, Appalachian Trail because it's got all the uh, parking areas, um, water sources, campsites, and so forth. And uh, I saw one day they were running a special where you could get the app for free and get a map of the North Country Trail in Ohio and Pennsylvania for like three bucks. So I went for it and uh, I didn't know then that it also has a GPS uh, feature associated with it. So usually I use Gaia for GPS, but today I'm trying out this far out thing. And uh, I also learned, and I probably should have known this, that you can get a uh, thumb drive to transfer stuff off of your phone to because I've always had issues with storage space when I do videos so I got myself one of those and I'm gonna try it out hopefully it works like I hope it will and uh, oh and uh, I found out Friday that there's another guy making a um, North Country Trail through hike attempt. And the other day he was overnighting it in Emblington. So seems like he's pretty fast dude. So I might be running into him today, depending on how far I go and how far he's gone. But at the pace he's, he's doing there's a very good possibility I might find him today so I'm kind of hoping for that uh, he goes by the trail name of uh, Abe Lincoln so and he looks like Abe Lincoln I hope I hope I find him so you can see him okay I'm at the south end of Brandon and it's onward from here There you go, Brandon South. And a North Country Trail blaze. And you can see things are starting to green up quite a bit. Yeah, we're now, now we're into some nice patches of green pucker brush as I call it. 
always the first thing that greens up in the spring. And it always happens along the river first because it's a little warmer down here because of the river water. Um, have I ever noticed this before? There's, I think I have. Here's a spring, a pipe spring. Okay, this far out app's supposed to have water sources marked, so let me uh, switch over here. I want to see if it's on there. No, it is not on there, so I guess I'll get in there when I get home and make a note. But apparently I knew it was there and forgot about it because I have it marked on my Gaia thing. My Gaia GPS is a water source. Okay, according to my gut hooks, we've gone 1.8 from where we started. And here is the nice new 12 mile marker for the Allegheny River Trail. And that would be 12 miles from the A Street Bridge in Franklin. So I think we should be about one or 1.1 somewhere thereabouts from the sunny slopes break yeah i think i'll probably go that far i want to get five today i want to get five miles well we got some new signage here that wasn't here the last time I was around and I got a little interesting situation that I'll explain to you in a second. Dogs at play. And uh, I always called the sunny slopes, but I got it labeled as Kent North. Thank you, Jordan, for the uh, new signage. GSA, that's Girl Scouts. Apparently they do service projects now too, but I was just passed by, I don't know if you saw them in the background there, but uh, some bicycles and we're getting close to the sunny slopes break. One of them was towing a trailer with a kid in it. Um, I'm curious to see whether they know about the trail break or what, and if they uh, attempt to do it towing that trailer, that could be kind of interesting. We'll see if I uh, meet them coming back. Okay, we've come to the break in the rail bed. And uh, I always try to publicize this as much as I can, but I don't know why this is the way it is. I have a theory, but the trail doesn't go that way. I think probably the way the deed was written in the railroad days stated that if uh, the railroad was ever abandoned, it went back to the way the title was before to the original landowners. That's my theory. And for whatever reason, somebody down there elected to exercise that option. So you gotta go this way now, and there's a the North Country Trail Blaze, bike trail. North Country Trail Blaze on the other side. This is called North Kent Road. And you go up here a piece, and then you get on a private lane, which I'll show you. There's uh, North Kent Road as it comes down from the top of the hill off of Cool City Road. 
but it and the trail continues this way. Okay, you can see how close we are to these houses. Don't let that get to you. The people here won't yell at you. Shoo you away as long as you stay on this road. They're cool with it. If you see them out, be friendly to them. Maybe thank them for being able to have access to this road. It's by mutual agreement between the Allegheny Valley Trails Association and the landowners here. So be nice to them. Don't treat them like statues. If you see them out, smile, wave, acknowledge them. Everybody here is cool. You want to live here? That one's for sale. Can't make out the whole number. That looks like a very far away area code though. All right, I'd say we're probably halfway through this thing. I really wanted to go the whole way through this thing, but I'm at three miles now and uh, it's warming up. I didn't bring any water with me. I'm really contemplating turning around before I get to the end here. But you get the idea. Just uh, get through here. Don't dilly dally. Respect the people's privacy. Acknowledge them if you see them. That's about it. And the bikes never came back, so they must have knew what they were getting into. All right, I see the trailer in the fence. So I'm almost done. North Country Trail Blaze. I'm almost clear through here. Might as well finish it up. I rarely ever see anybody down here, but don't go that way. Follow the fence, follow the sign. You're almost back out on the real bed. Bam, bam, there you go. Kent South, or what I call Sunny Slope, Slopes South. In there is what going the other way looks like. The trail used to come through here. Okay, I don't know how far I went, 3.2 maybe, something like that. But mission accomplished, now it's time to head back. So that's Sunny Slopes or Kent or whatever we want to call it. That's how you navigate it. Easy. I've given you all the all the criteria. Be nice to the people, you know. I've said all that. Don't need to say it again. Enjoy. And the bikers never came back. Alright. I'm using a different uh, GPS app on the way back. Um, it's a little farther than I thought coming through this sunny slope thing. 
I'm at seven tenths right now and I'm still, oh, I can see the sign at the end. But uh, using this other app, I got a lot of stuff saved on there. And I just realized that right up at the top of that ridge line is the window trail in the Clear Creek State Forest. Kennerdale track in the Clear Creek State Forest follows the top of that ridge line. Because I know different times when I've been here where I'm standing now when it's you know toward winter time quiet or at quiet times I could hear people talking up on top of that hill I couldn't figure out you know where they were or I thought they were down by the river but no they were up on the window trail kind of kind of weird Okay, we're coming to the end. Here we are, back on the pavement. Eight tenths of a mile that was. So there you go. That's sunny slopes and how you navigate it. Let's see, I got two miles back to the car. We are halfway back and we're coming up to that pipe spring and I am glad because I am thirsty. I didn't really plan on going as far as I did so I brought no water. I got a uh, lukewarm diet uh, Dr. Pepper back in the Jeep but no water. I forgot my fanny pack too. So I'm going to stop here and get a drink. And then, I'm headed that way. Well, that's where I'll end up. Oh, yeah. That was refreshing. I didn't get too wet. Got my one shoe a little damp. New shoes. So, consider them baptized. We'll see if they dry up fast like they say they do. And I got my fleece a little damp, but oh, I needed that. Good stuff. Certainly no lack of water down here right now. And I'm thankful for that spring because I brought no filter or bottle. Drink right out of the pipe. We are about two thirds of the way back. And since the leaves are off the trees, we got a nice view of this island in the middle of the Allegheny. This is Witherup Island. And uh, if you run around this valley much, you'll find the name of Witherup carved into some stones from the late 1800s his name is carved into the side of Indian God Rock with a date of about 1888 or something like that and then uh, over there in the state forest on Denison Run um, let's see I guess it's not really on a trail but it's down over the hill from the ridge trail his name is in a rock there too. But yeah, don't don't know much about the guy, but there are weather ups still around this area, so it's obviously a descendant. Okay, we're getting close. We're in the home stretch. Two thirds of the way back. Oh, wow. Okay, we are like inches from being back. The upstream gates right up there, I can see it, but Forsythias, 
And I'll tell you, I swear to God that there, there are oak trees There are oak trees out in, blood, in bud that were not in bud when I went the other way. Not positive, the sun might have been in my eyes, but we're gonna go with my theory. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Whew. All right, here we are. Back to where we started. I looked at the GPS before I started here and it said uh, 3.1 so it might be a 3.2 by the time I stop because the other GPS app said 3.2 okay well that's a wrap I don't know how many uh, North Country Trail miles I'll have now probably uh, over 60 I think but uh, I, I have to mark this on my GPS and take a picture because my original mark and picture got lost. So, okay, well, beautiful day. If you're gonna watch the eclipse tomorrow, wear your glasses. We'll see you later. <laughs>